Greetings everyone and welcome back to Dapperdale Farm in Stardew Valley where tomorrow's weather is going to be cloudy and the fortune teller says that today oh, Scallywag, the spirits are very displeased with us. We have been naughty, naughty boys and girls. Now, I was really hoping against hope that we would have some pumpkins over there just waiting for us, but no. It would seem that is not on the menu for today, unfortunately, which means that Abigail is going to have to have just a liked gift rather than a favorite gift. I'm going to grab these eggs. Hello. Hello there as well. Looks like I may need to grab some feed. Um, I'm going to grab a lot of feed though. Nope. I would like more feed. Come on. Come on. Nope. You're kidding me. Don't tell me we have no more feed. Oh, we got loads of feed. Well, how am I meant to get it up then? Maybe if I put it in here. We use something else? No. What I would like is to take out some hay. Oh, well, I'll just leave that hay in there then, I guess. And I'll take out more tomorrow. I'm not going to open the, the uh, grill because I want the chickens to stay inside today. Because it's so windy outside. Don't worry, Stuffing. I'm coming. Now, uh, this is very unfortunate because as a result of the lack of pumpkins, we're probably going to have to give Abigail one of these instead. Um, precious stone. Uh, I mean, it's the best that we can do, I guess. It's a shame. I would really like to have given Abigail... A amethyst for her birthday. We've got a small, a tiny, tiny chance that we might get an amethyst from Clint if we take that geo day. So I'm, I'm going to hope against hope on that one. But I strongly suspect we will not be getting anything out of that. Also, while I'm here, I may as well go and... Ooh, there we are. I may as well go and make myself some more cooked eggs. Some more fried eggs just for energy replenishment purposes. Drop that off and off we go. Uh, we'll do the watering before we leave. Again, generally speaking, you don't want to risk not doing the watering. If I thought there would be a reasonable chance of me down the mine getting an uh, amethyst, I would actually go, but given that we've got terrible luck today, I strongly suspect that it would be a wasted effort on our part and we wouldn't get any any decent return on our time invested and then I'd be late on the watering as well. It would just be a saga, basically. Ah, this watering can makes this easy. Thank you very much, watering can. Right, well, I'm going to do the rest of the fields and I shall bring you back when I'm done. Okay, well, Snuffkin, I need to water your bowl. Can you let me pass? Thank you very much. There we go. Right, let's check on our mushrooms. We may have some new ones. Uh, just common ones, but that's fine. Common ones are used in a number of different dishes, so... There we go. Right. Okay, we are fairly low on energy, which is a bit of a pain. I think what we'll do today is, just as soon as I drop off this gold, clunk, right there. We're going to head south. It is Saturday. I don't think the travelling merchant is there. That would have been useful if we had a reasonable amount of money. I think pretty much the cheapest thing you can get there is a thousand, but... It may have had an amethyst. They seem to have a very varied stock of items, so... It's a bit hit and miss, but... More miss than hit, I guess. Where is the crab pots? I think they're just down here. I've gotten all turned around. How did that happen? Out of my way! 
Sorry, frog. Okay, we want to go over this way instead. Ugh. Rubbish. Literally rubbish. Pop these in there. On the plus side, though, it is a reasonable return. That we, we always get something that we can do something with. If the local fishing scene gets a bit more lively, I might expand shop stuff. That would be fun. Right, we've got to go and find an Abigail, for it is her birthday. I'm sorry, I can bring you a pumpkin. I can bring you lots of pumpkins tomorrow, though. At least I imagine tomorrow. It should be around that point that we are going to get our first harvest of pumpkins. Just a day late, unfortunately. If I'd realised and actually planned things, and Abigail had already let me know that she really liked pumpkins, I probably would have used speed grow on some of them, just to make sure that I had a batch ready. Now, what have we got over here? What is this? Set of little thing. Nothing. Little nook where Rasmodius likes to hide from everyone else in. Which brings to memory that I need to take Rasmodius some of the essences that I've been getting. The Void Essence and the Solar Essence. Those seem suitably arcane, in my opinion, that he would likely like them. There we go. Now, you can go down there with the other trash, so can you. You don't need to come with me, but I've got so much inventory space now, it doesn't matter. Um, no, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give her a ruby, I think. Is there any other Miss Shack? Ooh, there are also wiggly worms. Wow, that was a reasonable return on, the, on time invested. Hmm, let's go and have a look at this. Blank book. Let me go and find Elliot. I'm, I was hoping to get a sneak peek at his latest masterpiece in the making. Alas. He's keeping it all in his head. The cunning sod. He knew I wouldn't be able to resist. Hello. Hi, Clint. Could you please smash this open and give me an amethyst? Ah, oh, Clay. Ah. Uh, Clint, you scoundrel, you. I would love to be able to take something back from the, uh, from the museum. It's like, oh, you brought that amethyst I gave you. Can I have it back for a moment? No, I'm not going to be bringing it back. Um, hello, Lewis. Let's go and check in here. How's things going? No, no one's home. Where is Pam and Penny? Local wizard in search of fresh corn. Oh. Wizard will be thankful. Very well, I will accept this quest. Hello. Where is your daughter? Is it just me, or does Abigail play too many video games? No! Okay, if you just walk into someone for long enough, you eventually... Um, can slip past them, they, they start to shake, the same with Sufkin, and eventually you just kind of squeeze past. Oh, um, Pierre has stopped the shop. I'm happy to buy whatever you produce at the farm. Thank you, Pierre. Considering how much money I spend in here, I, I, I feel that, that is, is reasonable. No. If I were an Abigail, where would I be hiding? Perhaps up here by the mine? Hello, Robin. How's the day going? Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? Yeah, actually, I agree. It's lovely up here on the mountain. Damn, where is Abigail? Let's see. Perhaps the nitrogen fixation level is affected by nematode secretions. Oh, sorry. I was searching for some data and I didn't notice you there. Uh, that's okay. Well, on the plus side... It'll give me an opportunity to just explore a bit. 
Nothing much on this side. Hmm. Where to next is the question. Let's go up this way. And we'll swing around um, up towards the bathhouse. Man, takes it out of you when you're just hunting for someone. But yeah, I have everything I need to survive and more. Nature plays a wonderful tune if you can only learn to listen. That's remarkably sweet thing to say. Ah, damn it. You've also got friends who worry about you, Linus. That, that also results in getting quite a lot of stuff. Well, you probably eat better than I do at this point. Um, does not seem that there is an Abigail up here. Okay, well, thankfully, I've got a, a gold star plum. Wow. We best not have missed Abigail completely. That would that would suck. On her birthday of all days. Despite our best efforts, I should have just stood guard outside the, the house. Let's hope we can get inside, but I'm not sure. I think it may have closed. It may be all locked up. Come on. Phew. I was worried there for a moment. Uh, she's in bed. I'll just leave it on her desk. Or next, next to her bed. Nope. Yes! Ha-ha! Oh, it's my birthday today. I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. You're welcome, Abigail. <laughs> Sorry for busting into your bedroom in order to give it to you, but, you know. Needs must and all that. Didn't want you to think I'd forgotten. Uh, I wish it could have been uh, something a little bit better, though. Um, give you a clams, Bastion, but I'm not sure you're going to like it, but I'll try. Here you go. Thanks. I was this close to mop it, moping in bed the entire day. Kind of wish I had now. Nah, you shouldn't do that, dude. Waste the day. There's loads of things that can be done. I've got to go back and start arranging all of the stuff in my... Actually, before I do that, let's check exactly how many days. Because I've kind of lost track now how many days are left until the fair. So let's have a quick gander at the calendar. Only three more days. Oh, okay, so that's about two episodes, all told. Right. And let's go and have a look if I can just pop in and say hello. Oh, it's locked. 8 p.m. is when that shuts up. Let's go and see in the saloon, maybe? Just chat with people. Hello, everyone! Oh, oh, what, what? I can't control- Ah! Scallywax. Hi, I'll take your order in a few moments. Oh, okay. It's the first time this has happened. Oh, Elliot. Oh. Is there a cutscene concerning you? Hello, Abak! What a pleasant surprise, indeed. I was just stopping in to relax after an eight-hour writing session. Wow. Well done. Bartender, two of your finest ales, please. Ah, oh, Elliot, this is why I like you so much. That's right, Gus, the, the good stuff this time. Not the regular stuff. We need the secret stuff from the compartment under the bar. There you go, sir. Ah, wait. I propose a toast to Pelican Town. Our friendship. My good health. <laughs> My good health. Your doom. No. Our friendship. That's a great idea. Here's to us. Wow. Okay, I've got a slightly larger drink. Strong stuff. And I drank like four times as much. In a far less dignified way. You guys, I must have been thirsty. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay. That was nice, actually. I've got a tipsy effect. I've got minus one speed. Hello, Willie. Ah, nothing's better than kicking back with a cold one after a relaxing day fishing. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Hi, Shane. Why are you bothering me? Well, because I kind of want to be your friend, honestly. I would have liked to have proposed to whatever... Uh, a toast to whatever... Well, it was writing, but... Have you been to that strange tower west of my house? Uh, I have, actually. One time I hear this terrible otherworldly noise coming from there. Ooh, that doesn't sound too good. Um, 
You know what? Thank you. You're welcome. I haven't given you many gifts. Decorations accent the feeling of the season. I think it's a wonderful tradition. Yeah, it is kind of nice. Uh, I kind of need it for the face. Sorry. Will you do me a kindness and clean up my house? Uh, we're not really... Just kidding. Uh, I don't know if you were. Are you much of a chef? I'm like, well, I am a character, not so much. If you have a kitchen and some recipes, you can cook some useful dishes. Also some delicious ones. Home-cooked meals make great gifts as well. Oh, -ho. thanks for the tip. Keep your mind open and some th interesting things might take root. Anyway, how's your day going? <laughs> it's going fine. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> what about the things that leave your mind when it's open? Uh, all right, well, that was, a, that was a nice stop by the saloon. If this is anything like, um, I think it's Room Factory, if you don't talk to someone for long enough, they s you, you gradually lose, lose friendship with them. It's not very much friendship you lose, but over a long period of time, you can, you can lose quite a lot of progress. So, it's probably worth dropping by the saloon every now and then just to say hello to everyone. We have got so much gold. I really need to go to the lower levels of the mine and just get other things. Uh, grab the coal. There we go. Bonk. Alright, you are going in here with the rest of my awesomely good produce. You're coming with me, you're gonna be sold. Have I got anything else, gold? No, I do not. But we've got so much stuff now that I should be able to sell to make it quite a nice pro profit. Wow. Fairy rose honey. Mm. Almost tempted to drop it in there, but it's not gold. I'll keep one and see how much it's worth. Now I'll make a judgment based on how much I get from that. There we go. The clay is staying with us as well. Okay, I think we are just about good. I think Siri is scratching at the door to come in. She is in the other part of the, the house at the moment, just chilling out, running around. She was, she was a bit manic when when I woke up and got ready to record. So I gave her some food and had a bit of a play with her and then uh, let her run around the other part of the house. She wasn't ready to settle down. Right, but I think she wants to come and see what I'm up to now. Uh, wood fence, wood path, fibre. Don't worry, she's not alone. My best friend's watching her. Crayfish, crab. Maple syrup, coral, okay, some nice things there. The coral is worth a reasonable amount. Wow. Okay, that is worth a lot. Ye gads, that's worth a lot. Very well. I think we'll probably be taking one of those to the fair. Alright. Well, uh, we've got four grand. That's amazing. Okay, weather report. It's going to be cloudy with gusts of winds throughout the day. What you can tell her? Spirits so feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Queen of Sauce. Trout soup! There's something about fresh-caught trout that just gets me buzzing. Maybe it's the subtle taste of the river. At any rate, I've got a wonderful trout soup recipe to share with you today. I've learned to cook trout soup. Trout soup. I mean, trout itself is actually quite delicious. It's true. And a plus one to fishing as well. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to head out early today. Ah, you swines. You had to be ready. After I needed you, didn't you? Just couldn't possibly be ready on time. Scallywags. Also, we've got a wall that we need to repair. Do I have any wall sections? No. But I'm not going to do all the watering today. I know, I know, I know, I know. I genuinely know. It's a very bad idea. But I would like to see if I can just get out into the town a little bit earlier. See the people that I don't usually see early on in the day. Uh, I will drop off a couple of these things, though. There we go. Of course, I'm also going to water Snuffkin's bowl before I leave. Friendships be damned. 
Here you go, Snuffkin. Enjoy. Uh, let's... We've got so many grapes to gather. Oh, it's going to be such a good day for money. Hello, girls. Only a couple of you lay today, all right. Are you not all happy, perhaps? There we go. And this brings the total up to 10, which I can then take with me. Drop off the eggs. I'm also going to open the door, because today... Oh, actually, today is a bit of a... Bit of a blowy day as well. Tomorrow, then, we'll open that up. Sorry, girls. I know, I know, I know. I'm terrible. Let's grab all of this. I will actually check on my friendship meter in a moment as well. Ah, I've got all of this space and these sprinklers that aren't actually being used, which is quite the pain in the bum. Ah, this is glorious, though. And all of these crops, I don't have the water. This is just profit without any real-time investment on my part. It is getting pretty late in the season, though. I'm not sure if any more cranberries would be worth my while. I'll have to have a look at the different... Um, the different things that I can purchase. Maybe something that will only give me one harvest would be alright at this point. Why weren't you ready earlier, you scoundrels? Also, I really want to see how much these are worth. I'm probably going to save the vast majority of these. If these are gifts that Abigail particularly likes, then... That would make sense. Really? Got iron out of that trash? I'm impressed. Got four gold pumpkins. Well, wow. eleven silver pumpkins. I'm gonna leave one there, and I'm gonna drop off all of the silver pumpkins as well. Those will be my gifts to Abigail. It's only eleven, but should be okay. I guess I can water the sunflowers as well before I go anywhere else. There we go. But that is it. We are heading off today to go and say hello to everyone. Just generally chill out around the town. May also hit the mines, perhaps. But I want to be back at least by 8. Maybe a little bit earlier than that. Maybe 7, if my energy is particularly low. That way I'll have time to visit the bathhouse uh, or just eat some snakes and get the watering done. I'm going to have to balance my time a little bit like that. Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Seeds for sale! Seeds for sale! Sale seeds! Hey, Abigail! How's it going? How was your birthday? Hmm, what should I do tonight? I was thinking about dyeing my hair again. What do you think? Um... Da -da 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 -da. I don't know, I kind of like the way your hair the way it is, but I appreciate the desire, desire for a change sometimes. Um, but, no, well, I'll go with that. Of course, that's what you'd say. Hmm. There we go. I seriously love this. You're the best. Ha-ha! Okay, Penny and Abigail, roughly the same point now. Um, let's see. Nothing else we really need to do. I wonder if I could go into the, the master bedroom. I can uh, you can have a grape. Here you go. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. It's okay. I just want to talk now. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Oh, that's very nice. Do you ever take a day off? Uh, occasionally. Not from Let's Playing, unfortunately. Hello, George. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Would you like some grapes? A gift? Mm. Thank you. Goodbye, George. Hey, Pierre. If I didn't have the shop to run, I would be outside right now. And it would be very nice. That is a lot of money. That is a crazy lot of money. Wow, okay. And uh, you can have those grapes too. And you can have most of these. I think I've already got a gold grape, but you can have... Wow, okay, we're stupid, stupid wealthy now. Uh, it takes ten days to mature. Seven days to mature and continue to produce after the first harvest. 14th, that would take us up to the 21st. We'd get a few harvests from it. Five days to mature and continue to produce after the first harvest. Hmm. 
Fairy seeds, plant in fall, takes 12 days to produce a mysterious flower, assorted colours. Amaranth, plant these in the fall, takes 7 days to grow, harvest with the scythe. Honestly, this would take us up to the 24th, so I don't think there's much point in that one. Maybe the cranberry seeds, though. Yeah, okay, we'll go with either the cranberries or the bok choy seeds. I mean, we could just go for a lot of different harvests here. The eggplants will start producing fairly quickly. But no, I think we'll go with the cranberry seeds. Um... There we go. And with that done, we won't worry too much about the lower cranberry patch, I don't think. Let's go and see on Penny. See how she's doing. Hello? Penny not here? Hello, Pam. And you have work to do. You should be thankful that you have a job rather than moping around town all the time. Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate that, actually. Okay. Off we go. Lewis, hold up. I would like to chat, my good man. You're doing your best on the farm, Avak. You'll have to accomplish things in many years if you want to become a well-rounded citizen. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. Hey, Penny. How are you doing? I've been trying to keep your uh, our place clean, but it always gets messy again. It's hard to run a household all by yourself. Um, I was keeping this, but would you like it? Ugh, I'm sorry, but I absolutely hate this. Ah, damn, I'm blast. There I was, trying to be nice. Uh, we've actually got a lot of hearts with quite a lot of people at this point. Um... Still need to work with Sam, George, Pierre, Jazz, Alex, Vincent, Sebastian, Clint, Shane, Gus, Harvey, Pam, the Wizard, and the Dwarf. All still need a little bit of friendly encouragement. Fair enough. Let's go and grab ourselves whatever our crab pots have gathered. Rubbish. Wow. Isn't that lovely? You know what? I'm actually going to take these and I'm going to put them in the same place as the others. I know, I know, I know. I was I was leaving them here just to have some diversity, but... Uh... Hey there. I have to remember to water my plants today. I'm not with seawater this time. <laughs> yeah. Not all plants would find it that hard to survive with it, but... I don't think there are many that would actually like it. Unless they were themselves sea plants. Alright, well, let's head over to the forest, see what we can find there. Oh, hey there, Doctor. Hmm, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. Well, I'm sorry, but no. I've, I've, I've let you take my money too many times. Well, still, I feel a little bit bad. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll let myself pass out tonight. I don't know. don't really want to pass out tonight, I'll be honest with you. I can think of many other things I'd rather do. Clear about new. But Lewis is. Hello, Lewis. No, oh, you're in the zone. Fair enough. Aha! Many things. Right here we go. This will be a lot easier for me to check on. Right, I'm going to go back to the farm. I am going to grab some of the solar essence. And I'm going to take that to Rasmodius. It's time that I started working up my friendship with the wizard, I think. Though, since I've done the meet and greeting today, I may just wander around. Actually, no, I'll do my planting first and then go visit Rasmodius. Also, I seriously need to fix up my crops. Like, wow. Also, I need to deliver hay. Oh, also, many other things. Damn it. Okay. Right. So, since this is all still sorted, I should just be able to plant it all and we'll be fine. There we go. Right. I will bring you back when I'm done with the watering, I suppose. 
Okay, there we go. Watering is done and it is now time for me to go and see if I can get to Rasmodius's house and whether it'll be locked by the time I get there. It is Sunday, though. I've got stupid amounts of money, so I could always drop by the rare merchant. Let's see what you've got in your wonderful caravan drawn by a pig with a fez. And that's the important bit. The pig with a fez. Ooh, the minus treat would be nice. Iridium ore? Hmm, maybe. Kale seeds, salmon berry, slime, house plant. A thousand? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, oh, I'm actually almost tempted to go for the minor street as well, but no. No, we won't be going for the minor street. We're going to go over to Rasmodius now. Oh, hey there. I wasn't expecting you down here. You're just one of your hiding spots. Fair enough. All right, Rasmodius. Rasmodius, I have a gift for you. Donk. Ah, this is imbued with potent arcane energies. It's very useful for my studies. Thank you! Look at that face! I sometimes observe the local villagers in secret. I'm hoping to find an apprentice. Someday I will leave this mortal plane, but my arcane pursuits must continue. I approve. When is your birthday, Rasmodius? I wonder... Let's go and see. Uh, starting to starting to rise. I'm hoping I'm hoping we'll we'll have you on one heart before too long, Rasmodius. I will earn your affection, damn it. Maybe one day I will be your apprentice. Now right, let's go and see the hat shop. Hat hat house. Hello, hat mouse. Butterfly bow. This one is very soft. Tropic clip. It's shaped like a little palm tree. Achievement, moving up. Daisy, a fresh spring daisy, official cap, watermelon band, blue bonnet. Harken back to simpler times. It is prairie bonnet. Achievement, treasure trove. Oh. I don't actually want any of them, but uh, it's nice to see what I have progressed to being able to get. Right, well, uh, what would I like to do with the remainder of the evening? You know what, I haven't fished properly in ages, so I guess I could do that. Are there any any bobbing? No, there are no no ripples on the pond. I'm gonna head over to the little pier down here though to fish, I think. Where are you, little pier? Have I missed you somewhere? Piers that I have. How was, did that happen? I have no idea, but uh I feel a bit dumb. Ooh. Take you. Thank you. I'll also take you. There we are. Uh, and we, we're better to fish than on up here. Oh, we've got quite a, a long casting distance now. Uh, hopefully we can increase uh, Willie's willingness to sell us new rods. There we go. Since I've seen that we can craft tackle, or at least buy it or get it in some places... Oh, really? Is this pond just going to be full of rubbish? I'm assuming that there's going to be another rod with the, with uh, tackle options. Damn it. Hello there. No, come on. Stay with me. Thank you. Ooh, smallmouth bass. Aha! Is that one of the ones that I need to get? I think it may be. Either that or largemouth bass. This is a nice way to spend the evening when I haven't got very high energy. Really? I'm starting to understand now why people didn't like the algae. It's because they catch it all the time. They've got enough algae. Stop it, Joja Cola. Nobody likes you. Go away. Don't I use the algae for something? I think I do. May have to have a look into that. I'm still carrying around the hay as well that I haven't used. Uh, I mean, I get these really epic casts and then I pull back glasses. If I was actually in a place where there were decent amounts of fish, I'd probably be doing fairly well for myself right now. On the plus side, I'll get random trash from all of this. It's not quite what I wanted, though. 
<laughs> this is possibly the best fishing exercise I've ever gone on. And I'm getting nothing. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's about to change. No. Which way are you going? You're going nowhere. Fair enough. Oh, the smallmouth bass. Was it smallmouth bass that we needed? It's not going to be a uh, night fishing, perhaps? No. And, oh, no, it's not going to be ocean. Lake. Bullhead. No, it's largemouth bass for that. Uh, we'll fish one more thing. Ooh, not a max, unfortunately, but we'll live with it. But after this, our energy will be too low, really. And I refuse to drink the Doja Cola. In fact, I refuse to even sell the Doja Cola. That can go straight in the bin. I know, I know, there's a couple of people, why don't you sell it? Or oh, why do you drink it? It's it's an energy drink. That's what it's there for. But it's Joja. I would sooner pass out in front of my house and get robbed than drink a Joja Cola. True facts. And yes, that is dumb. No, I don't care. Uh, we'll pop the glasses in there. Get some more refined quartz. There we go. Drop these off. Oh, that's a gold star smallmouth bass. I accept. Drop that off here. And over here, we will drop these off. I'll double check the algae isn't used on any of the various things I can make. Oh, we're going to get a good night tonight if this is all fairy rose honey. Ah, oh, fantastic. It is. Glorious. Just make sure the girls have their food before I do anything. Yeah, you've all got your food. That's fine. Right. Okay, it is a time for snoozings, I think. Yeah. Have we finished everything in here? Let me just double check. Was green algae is used with rainbow trout, so there we are. Yeah, okay, we'll keep that then. Um... And everything else seems okay. House plant can now be placed. Where should I get placed this house plant? You know what? I think it needs to be here to uh, on the other side of the the TV. Oh yeah, and snooze. All right, let's see how much we got. Crazy amount of money because of the fairy rose honey. That's literally the only only thing we sold from farming, and we made that much money. Small math bass, 77 gold, not bad. Okay. Pretty happy with that. We should probably spend some time on the farm, I think, in the next episode. Just getting things all set up and uh, working on a couple of the fields. But that, ooh, what have we got over here? We have got ourselves a pickled cauliflower. I will probably sell that and just find out how much it's worth. And I'm going to... Get some more apple jelly. But that is going to be it for me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care. <laughs>